Las Vegas starts now. Eh, we'll see. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome from Las Vegas, Nevada, that groovy little podcast that gives you a true first-person look into what it's like to call Sin City your home, the living in Las Vegas. Wow, well, let's do it! Yeah. <laughs> and now your host, yeah. a man who clearly needs some kind of introduction, otherwise you wouldn't know who he was. I was thinking about the Scott A. Mr. Scott Whitney. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the Living in Las Vegas podcast on the Vegas Video Network. Those pictures of you are old. Have you noticed that? What does that mean? You mean the ones of me running? No, no. The oh, ones the, oh of, that was in the other studio. Yeah. Yeah. That was like seven years ago. Yeah. That whole post-production shit, it's a lot of work. This don't like to do it. <laughs> So I don't, I don't, hey, mm. by the way, stock footage, everyone, <clears throat> congratulations to you, you listeners and you viewers, because you're watching or listening to the longest running podcast about Las Vegas that actually originates from Las Vegas, which means that we're not only going to cover what it's like to live here, although we will, sure. we're going to talk about adventures Ooh. downtown and ah. Fremont Street and on the Strip. Other okay. cool places here in the Valley. And by the way, if you're a tourist or a fan, or maybe you're thinking about moving to our town, hell, you might be going to Hindertucky. Yeah, yeah. come on. Yeah. I know. Well, if you're thinking about doing Power that. I just got hooked up this morning. <laughs> yeah, if you're thinking about doing that, A, don't. But if you do, this show's like your own secret handshake to all things cool and groovy. Hey, our free show is live the first and third Tuesday of every month at 7 o'clock Pacific time, plus or minus two minutes at VegasVideoNetwork.com forward slash live. Again, VegasVideoNetwork.com forward slash live. As Christina Aguilera will tell you, come on over. Come on over, baby. Be a part of the fun. Get, there are people in the live chat an hour and a half before the show started. That's how cool these people are. Wow. I'm super proud of them, by the way. I got in there and you know gave them the lottery number, and they made a lot of money, and it's been fantastic. So come in. Get to the live chat. Here's why. A, nice people. Friendly people. I mean, right. Salt of the earth people. But B, inside scoop. Remember we talked about that secret handshake part? Here's some demonstration of that right now. We begin our pre-show prior to our 7 o'clock start. For example, today you saw everything kind of crash and fall about our heads and shoulders. But did we panic? No. Hmm. Matter of fact, the live chat said that's part of the reason why we come early is to see this kind of shit happen. It's fantastic. These people are very supportive. Hmm. We recovered. And then after our show, which goes about an hour or so, then it's the post show. It's Vegas Video Network 2.0, VVN After Dark. That's when we share things that we weren't comfortable about having on the record during the actual show. You can only see that if you're in the live chat. You might want to say something right there. I was just going to say, it's just like those Christmas shows. You know, I just saw an ad on TV. They're going to do, someone's doing, I think Fox is doing the Christmas story. Oh, that. yes, yes. I yes. mean, that's part of the reason that you watch that. We've all seen the Christmas story. Sure. But you want to see if something goes wrong. I want to see a fall. React. I want to see a crash. And that's what we, we're just delivering. I want to see children actors cry because they missed their mark. Right. That's what I want to do. Right. Don't judge me. That's just the way I am. So come on in there. Uh, come on over and join us. VegasVideoNetwork.com forward slash live. 7 o'clock Pacific time. Tuesdays, first and third. Hey, uh, I'm your host, Scott Whitney. Konnichiwa. Buenas noches. How you doing? Hot stuff. I am the founder of the Vegas Video Network. So on behalf of all the shows here, thanks for watching. We appreciate that. And on behalf of this groovy little podcast, we appreciate your support as well. And I'm joined by the very fantastic, there he is, everybody. It's Pimpin' Wayne. Thank you, thank you. Kimchi, chicken nachos, whatever Scott says. Kimchi and chicken nachos. Mm -mm -mm. And then then right after that, you're going to be heading right to the bathroom. It's going to be a horrible, horrible evening for you and your date. Um, Hey, new in the live chat, quite a few new people that uh, we've captured. The first one is Zakotaz. Zakotaz, I love that name. Uh, Zakotaz is actually Kevin. Kevin uh, is a, a YouTube watcher, found us in August, and he wouldn't tell us where he's from. So, Wayne, where's Zakotaz from? Uh, Zakotaz, he is from the mean streets of Des Moines. I like that. Uh, 
<laughs> people don't think of it that way. No, those 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 people are rough. It it gets well as cold as it gets there. They've they've developed that that rough streak over the years. I just got back from Effingham, and I'm telling you what, you don't don't mess with those people. Mm -hmm. People who uh, you think uh, it's French. hunters, farmers, Des Moines. It's like got a bougie oh, kind of. Welcome to Des Moines. Right, no oh. croissants in Des Moines. No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah, well, they've got Krispy Kreme, mm -hmm. uh, Winchell's Donuts, mm -hmm. and, and corn and gunshots. Lot, lots of gunshots. So mm -hmm. that's Zach Otaz, Puffer, who's also known as Renee and her mom. Now, uh, Renee and her mom slash Puffer are. We're gonna go that their names are probably Julie and Debbie. Sure. And they're I mean, from where? Maybe Renee. Uh, probably not. That's that's too obvious. Mm. What do you think they're from? Tammy Lee. We'll go Renee and Tammy Lee. They're from Canada. Holy Christ. Canada. I didn't really know that Canadian people really like me. Well, they're from or you. a lot. Oh, they love me. Canada's my... If, if I couldn't... If I had to move out of Las Vegas, I would move to Canada. Why? Uh, because I mean, the people are friendly. They are, eh? They yeah. are very friendly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like <clears throat> that old time. It's like Des Moines used to be where Almost, you leave your doors unlocked at night. Right, and your gun unloaded. Right. <laughs> oh, old Des Moines. <laughs> oh, old Des Moines. Uh, so Renee and her mom, they're in Canada. They discovered us. Uh, again, they, they went to a little porn shop, found one of our videos. Um, I don't know how that happened, mm. but it happens. What are you going to do? And also, we've got Ronar, R O N A R. Wayne? Uh, Ronar, fun fact, spelled backwards is Ranor. It's almost one of those things. Uh, a pair and poop and pop and for. Oh, for, like uh, a man to play in a canal, Panama. Yes. Or mm -hmm. uh, radar, mom, dad. Th that too, which is called a anagram. Pa no, no, a parrot, a paradigm. No, a, f a planet time. A help no. me, life chatters. I think it's anagram. No, anagram is the if you use letters to, for a bunch of words, mm. like uh, FBI is an anagram. No, but no, that, that, that's no. a abbreviation. That's, yeah, but that's no, 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 no. What's it called when the word is spelled the same forward and backwards? It's not anagram. It's something else. It's like a palindrome or something like oh, that. Oh, palindrome. Palindrome. I is that think. right? Is that? Jesus, we don't know what the hell we're talking about here. It's amazing they even let us do this show. Yeah. All right, here we go. Is it palindrome? Yeah. yeah. You were confused. You were starting to think paradigm. That's where you were. I was a little confused. Right. All right. Hey, guess what we're going to do today, guys? You asked for it. You got it. It's time for Pick Your Poison number eight. Pick your poison. That sounds like a fun idea, Scott. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Pfft, I'm not going to tell you. Wayne's going to tell you. Go ahead, Wayne. Uh, so what we do here, we have the fancy, the fancy wheel. We we busted out only the finest wheel for this show uh, because much like Price is Right, you want to make sure that it's calibrated, uh, it's on point, and it's, give it a spin. Yeah, sure. So that's what's that. going to happen. One of us is going to spin it. It's going to land on a category like, I don't know, this one. Oh, let's see what that one was. Stand by. That's um, free things. Things that are free in Las right. Vegas. Uh, and then in that case, uh, Scott and I, will each have an opinion. Uh, clearly, as intelligent as we are, only one of us can be right. One of us could be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Even a blind then, squirrel finds a joke. Uh, what you do is you taint it by trying to get the live chat on your side. Uh, you declare victory, you cheat me, and uh, it goes on. I just take it, much like I have all the sexual abuse lately. Uh, Please because, don't do that. Because... There's no need for that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's never say that again. Okay. Do you and want to go to a two-shot? Part... Oh, yes, let's do that. Oh, okay, thank you, for, thank you for that. Um, please, uh, spin. Oh, already? Yes. You're, you're letting me open? Oh, did we? Uh, well, you, you already told him how to play, right? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Okay. Why waste any time? Let's do it. <laughs> no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Big bucks, big bucks, big bucks. And stop. Locals Casino. Locals Casino. Scott, I spun, so I really believe it's your honor. I believe it is my honor. Let's begin by Locals Casino. Okay. <clears throat> Locals Casino. Well, this is an interesting one because there are a number of them here. And uh, I have been to one of them. 
I don't I don't do a lot of local casino stuff, mm -hmm. with the exception of one. Now there is one locals casino here that is so powerful, so fantastic that it could easily be on the Las Vegas Strip. As a matter of fact, oh, right, did, did you just what? We just went out again. Yeah, we're just gonna keep going. Okay. Uh, it's it's a, a live stream thing. We're having it's not a problem on our side. It's definitely a live stream thing. All right. Um, so it's um, and why don't you just type that in the live chat that we're gonna keep going. So this local casino, uh, it, it could it could definitely hang out on the on the strip. It was a billion dollar initial cost. They paid a musician ninety thousand dollars a month just to be and perform there. Um, it is, of course, the Red Rock Resort in beautiful Summerlin, arguably one of the nicest casinos in all of Las Vegas, whether or not it's local or not. Uh, good food, good gaming, nice entertainment, easily Red Rock Casino. Wayne? If you and your bougie... Oh, are we going to put the camera on me or am I just going to talk over... Oh, look at that. Sorry. That's okay. I can direct and co-host at the same time. Very well done. Uh, if you and your bougie 1% friends like to go to Summerlin where everything's guard-gated, uh, the rocks are even changed to a different color for your taste, and it's not quite a city, but yet it's not quite Las Vegas, then yes, I could see you guys uh, <laughs> having some maybe Chardonnay at the Red Rock. Uh, just glancing over the different types of patterns in the marble as you discuss what uh, the rest of the peons are doing in the city. <laughs> However, uh, for those of us who don't feel like we need to have a Mercedes or better or a Buick or better uh, to get into a certain oh, you've country got to be club kidding me with this area, car thing, man. We uh, hang out at the South Point. The South Point has a wealth of things for the average person. You've got bowling alley, very reasonably priced food, a steak and shake, dollar hot dogs served in the sports book, and they do little events for free to benefit the community. For example, December 23rd, go get your picture taken with the Clydesdales. Sponsored by Budweiser, free beer will be given out at that event. Hot chocolate and other snacks are also available as well. <laughs> Bring the kids out, get your photos taken. It's a fantastic family fun event. Mm. Uh, where is South Point lo located exactly? Uh, South Point is located on Blue Diamond and uh, okay. uh, what is that street? Um, not Reno. It's a four-letter word. Cactus. It's a five-letter word. But. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so let's talk a little bit about that. Um, first of all, having to go all the way to Blue Diamond is, is quite a hassle. Now, where do you live? Hendertucky. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's a step up for Hendertucky, perhaps, to go to South Point and, and all the nice things. Oh, I'm sorry. They have hot chocolate? Oh, that's the casino that has hot chocolate. Well, fantastic for that. Big hand for South Point for actually having hot chocolate. That's a new thing for them, by the way. They haven't had uh, hot chocolate for a very long time. They had water, and they would take uh, Hershey's Kisses and then just hover them on the top there, hoping that hot chocolate would happen, but no. Um, so if you look at... Hendertucky, and then you look at uh, Boulder Highway, and you go way out to South Point, sure. But for the rest of us, the civilized people, the people who actually don't want to drive down Boulder Highway, whose theme song is a gunshot, uh, Red Rock, of course, would have to be it. Um, if we look at the live chat, it looks like, shockingly enough, Red Rock, Red Rock, Red Rock, Red Rock, Red Rock, by far, one South Point. Somebody threw in an Arizona Charlie's. We can't trust Two them. Two South Points. I'm afraid the winner is Red Rock. I feel like it's a tie. Of course you do. You, okay, let's continue on. Our next contestant. Let's see if we can erase this. We're going to do it again. Local Casino. La, la, la. And we'll take this. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Big spin. And we've got 
New Year's Eve. Place to hang out on New Year's Eve. Ice fun? Uh, the floor is yours. Absolutely. Uh, New Year's Eve. Nobody does New Year's Eve like Las Vegas. Sure, you might have your Times Square ball, but you got to put up with uh, a, a stroke ridden Dick Clark who gets trotted <laughs> out with Not anymore. Ryan Seacrest. You used to have to. Yeah. Uh, is he dead? No. Oh. Uh, uh, no, I think he's still alive. Okay, they just but, don't they don't trot him out anymore. No. Uh, nobody does it like Las Vegas. And what's great is being on the West Coast, you get to experience all the other New Year's before it gets to you. You sure do. So you can decide which New Year's is the best New Year's. Correct. Uh, so like anything else uh, in life, especially in Las Vegas, it's location, location, location. One of the best locations you can get in Las Vegas, especially on New Year's, uh, without breaking the budget, because not all of us, after we've gone to Summerlin and Red Rock and frittered all of our money away, uh, have that much left, uh, or at least not as much as, as those. Uh, I would recommend the Cosmopolitan <laughs> because you get all sorts of amenities, such as a uh, nice center strip location. Fireworks typically go off at the Caesars properties, I believe, Caesars Palace, Planet Hollywood. Um, so you're right underneath, uh, have a great view of the fireworks. Not to mention, you're going to be there for a while. They start shutting the strip down at like 6.30 six or That's right. 6. That's right. You're going to be there for a while. You want something to do. You don't want to sit at the slot machine or just sit outside because it can get a little chilly, let me tell you. At the Cosmo, not only do they have the ice skating rink where you can skate around, kill some time, they've got the bar with the different uh, holiday flavor cocktails. They've also got some foosball out there. And for a very, very reasonable price, you can get – you know, four, five, six people together, uh, get yourself a fire pit out there. That's going to get you not only heat, which is important, it's going to be chilly, <laughs> right. but uh, a s'mores kit, you get your own personalized server, and you get space. You're not shoved up against other people having to fight over, uh, uh, you know, location. You get nice, convenient access to bathrooms that are reserved just for, for people on their pool deck area. Uh, so if you want to do it smart, you want to do it right, you want to do it at the Cosmo. Wow, that's fantastic. Here's a couple ironic things that you said there and a callback as if you were a comedian. You're no Jay Leno. You're not telling dick jokes at a fucking benefit concert, benefit concert but mm -hmm. you're, you're good. Uh, allow me to uh, respond to your responses. First of all, your constant need to use the term bourgeois is fascinating to me. I find it... Uh, comedic i find it uh, cute i find it you're you're trying to lift yourself I'm very up cute. you are cute. there's no question mm -hmm. you're trying to lift yourself up from the hender tucky but here's what's interesting about it if someone were to say scott or anybody what would you argue is the most bourgeois of all of the properties on the strip uh, I would argue Bloody the Cosmo Cosmopolitan without question. The win. But wait, there's more to that. There's much more. You clearly are obsessed with chocolate. Your previous one, South Point, they have hot chocolate. Well, by the way, congratulations again for getting chocolate. Now at the Cosmopolitan, one of the great things they have are s'mores mm -hmm. way to go because when i think las vegas and new year's eve and bringing in the new year's i'm thinking oh i better get me a s'more to to you make things an better original idea coming but out wait, of your head i'm just reiterating just continue to but wait little. there's more mm -hmm. you've also decided I'm, I'm that waiting for more. one of the greatest parts of the cosmopolitan is the fact that you have bathrooms congratulations you have bathrooms so now i'm going to tell you the actual answer I have lived here since 2005. I have done the, the New Year's Eve in a number of places. I've done it on the Strip, and everybody should do it on the Strip once, just to say that you've done it. Mm -hmm. I've okay. gone to shows that had thematic things. I wish I'd have gone a couple years ago and saw Lady Gaga and, uh, oh, uh, Tony Bennett. I would like to have seen that. Mm -hmm. I have that album. performing at? The uh, Cosmo, oh, because it's bourgeois, and I don't mind you calling mm -hmm. me bourgeois. Yeah, now, if you just said, go see Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett at the Cosmo, I said, huh, eh, Wayne's got a point there. But that's not what you said. You said, use the bathroom, have s'mores, and that's not really that big a deal. 
But here's the place to go. We've gone here three times, maybe four times now uh, for New Year's Eve. And it is without question the best place to go. And it's Fremont Street Experience. Here's why. There's a number of reasons. The first one is this. A lot of people are like, yeah, Fremont Street Experience, eh, you know, it's just not my cup of tea. It's, 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 it's a little maybe different than what I like on the strip. Yeah, I get it. Going there every day, it's, it's different. But on New Year's Eve, they completely change it. They make it kind of bourgeois a little bit, if you will. They put a fence around it. They, they, you, they charge you to get in. It's a whopping $35 or $40 or whatever it is. And that changes it. Everybody's dressed up nice. There is more music than you can possibly consume. Those three uh, bands that are those three stages that are playing that you normally have, they're playing all day. And that is the day they get their best bands of the year. I saw a cheap trick there a couple years ago fantastic so you've got great times people are dressed up having a good time lots of people so you get that crowd energy which is fantastic it keeps the riffraff out because you have to pay to get in all the music you want oh by the way what are the drinks at the cosmopolitan let's say that they're not cheap what are the drinks at fremont street i can show you where you can get a buck 50 corona if you'd like or anything else even a football full of alcohol. There is no question that the best place for, for uh, New Year's is Fremont Street Experience. I'm sorry, Scott. I thought you just said that you recommended a place that on 364 days a year I can get into for free. You did. But on New Year's, it's $35 That's right. to see fake video fireworks and hang out with the fat guy in the thong hustling for tips so I can take him a picture with So him. apparently you don't uh, want people to do a good job um, and, and work for themselves. But there's actually... Two kinds of fireworks mm. at the Fremont Street Experience. Oh, yes, they have the Viva Vision, the largest of its kind in the world, mm -hmm. which is not to be toyed with. But they also include real fireworks as well. That's right. They actually fire off real fireworks oh, underneath that. Oh, isn't that, that a novel idea? They do it. So the truth is, my friend, I can have giant lighted light bulb like kind of fireworks or if i need to have that smell of sulfur and that's what makes new year's for some people i can have that as well there is no question that the new year's eve play is free monster and by the way we've brought guests big guests little guests old guests young guests and they've all loved it absolutely because when i'm from out of town i want to hang out at the uh what used to be the las vegas club and mermaids those aren't there anymore and well they were until this but year they're not there and, That's and where no, you just and, said you used to hang out. And you, but I don't. But you don't have to be there anyways. You can just go up and down the place. You can go to a nice oh, place. I, you can go, go to a, to a five nice star place like. Binion. Or, which is Ooh, not bad. That's a whole right. Yeah, that's not a dive bar now. You know what? For a guy who used to complain about me being bourgeois, you're pretty funny. You well, buy, it's you $35 buy a house. to get in. I expect <laughs> something. You, $35. You bought a, How much do you think it costs to get to Cosmopolitan and do anything there? Well, you can't walk. <laughs> Oops, what? Uh oh. Things didn't go real well for you there, did it, Wayne? <laughs> yeah, I bet it's probably. We should look up $75 probably to do the Cosmopolitan party. So I could do two people for what it would cost to do Cosmo. Live stream. What's it going to be? Uh, are we going to do uh, the Free Monster Experience or are we going to do Cosmo? Free Monster Experience or Cosmo? Oh, I see a Cosmo. Oh, two Cosmos. Oh, shit. New Year's Eve. Cosmo. Who are these people? Cosmo or Fremont Street Experience. Okay. Oh my God. I see. I see Cosmo. I see Fremont. Fremont. Actually, it's a tie. Oh, oh. Greg just put Fremont in there. Three to two. There's no Three, way. Three, two. I see two Cosmos. Oh, I see. I see four. Four Fremonts. Two Cosmos. Ladies and gentlemen, Fremont Street Experience. Yeah, have fun with the Dregulars. With the what? The Dregulars. Remember, that's what. Uh, Dregulars. They're not what... there. They can't get in. Mm -hmm. so they're, out, oh. they're, they're, out, they're outside. Mm -hmm. They can't play. I'm sorry. By the way, that was so mean for you to say that about. That, <laughs> that was a good one. All right, here's our last one, ready? Spin away, my friend. <laughs> and I can't read Best that. Best tip for parking. Best parking tip. Okay. Uh, you start. Uh, I go first. Oh, I've got a killer one for this one, folks. Parking. Best parking tip. Stand by. 
Now, as most people know, I'm a big fan of the valet parking. And if you can do it, you should do it. Bourgeois like or not. Pardon me? Would you like to put you on camera? Yes, thank you. Okay. Very good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Assistant Technical Director uh, Wayne Crowell, everybody. There he is. Thank you very much, my brother. Um, so I have said many, many, many times that my favorite thing about parking in Las Vegas is valet parking because it's free. <laughs> well, it used to be free. It's not so much anymore. Uh, evil people who own casinos have said, no, no, we want to charge people for both parking and valet parking. But I have discovered a great secret. I've discovered that you can valet park on the strip. What? I can valet park at properties that you know the names of. It's not like Dave has got a little shack off of the corner at the end of <laughs> Las Vegas Park. goes, yeah, 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 no. You can valet park here. Yeah, but you're down by Blue Diamond. Yeah, no, no, but you can valet park here. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I've already mentioned before, and so I'm not going to use this one, that you can valet park and free park at um, Palazzo and, and uh, uh, Venetian. Free, still, today, which is fantastic. And if you're up at that part of the strip, you should do that. But today I'm going to give you a whole brand new one that I just recalled uh, recently and I've used recently, and it's fantastic. And it's this, free valet parking at Mandalay Bay. What? How's that possible? Here's how. There's a little area called the Shops at Mandalay Place. And if you go to the shops at Mandalay Place, you get there by going to the Mandalay Bay Road, um, which is right off of the Strip, and you head towards, in the between, Mandalay Bay and, and Luxor. You'll see a bridge. That bridge is actually those shops. Right before that bridge, if you make a right turn, if you head north, you go into a valet parking area. What? Has anybody ever heard of it? No, it's a great secret. And you pull right in, you tell them, hey, I wanna go shop at the mall, and guess what? Free. That's the best parking tip you will ever have. Uh, please continue. Uh, did you see what's playing right now? Is it what? Oh, shit. Fantastic. Keep going. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, that sounds great, Scott. If I want to go to Mandalay Bay, how about the other, I don't know, three miles of the strip? Uh, maybe I'd like to visit one of those other casinos and not have to walk the equivalent of... Uh, uh, I don't know, eight football fields. So here's what I recommend, folks. <laughs> Gather in real close. Uh, Wayne's going to tell you a little secret. Mm -hmm. right? it's the next time you're at a casino on the Strip, it doesn't matter which one. It could be a Caesars property. It could be an MGM property. It could be a Wynn property. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to walk around until you find the high limit slot area. You're going to go into the high limit slot area. You're just going to browse around and you're going to look for a card that's been left behind in a machine because <laughs> everybody, when you go and you get a card at the reward center, what do they always ask you? Would you like one or two? Because people leave these things behind like bad habits and old ex-wives. So you walk through, you find a card in the machine, you take that <laughs> card out. And guess what, folks? You just got yourself free parking to that entire chain. Because when you go to pull in, you scan that card, and you're right into the parking lot, and then you're right back out. You're welcome. <laughs> I just want to tell you, I could not have written a worse response than that. I was like, man, what, what could I do? What could I tell our viewers to do that is illegal, that's fraudulent, but it gets free parking? And I, I can't even think of anything, but fuck, you did. <laughs> that's fantastic. So I don't even feel like I have to say anything. The truth is... Here are your options. You could go to a free parking place where they want you to park and they embrace you to park um, in either of those two places. Or you could steal from some poor schmuck who probably lost a lot of money, is feeling a little down, and now he gets pinged by his host. Hey, I see you're here again. No, I'm not here. Well, I just got alerted that you're parked here. I have no idea. Oh, and then what happens? Well, then the police come. And then they come and pick you up, and they put you in the casino jail. And we've seen the movie Casino, and we see what happens to people who end up there. So this is pretty easy. Um... Best parking tip, should you go to the Mandalay Bay shops, um, valet parking for free, or should you steal a high rollers card? I'll wait for a moment. Yeah, okay. 
I'm not going to even go for a moment on this. There's no way I'm going to condone such bad behavior on your part. I'm trying to protect you, quite frankly. Mm. That's what it is. Mm. Okay, so um, again, surprisingly enough, I'm uh, three for three. Good try. I, I mean, appreciate your effort. Listen, when you Kim Jong un the voting there, what, uh, what am I supposed to do? I'm telling you, no one thinks like Kim Jong un the voting, but here's what I will do I will have a drink on you. All right, it's time for Have a Drink on Me. It's part of the show where we show you a bar or a speakeasy or a pub, and you guess what it is, and you can win lots of cool things. Let's talk to, uh, let's find out. Let's talk to Pops. We'll have Pops tell us how to enter. Pops? Hey, kids. Pops here. Five-time Adam winner. I know what you're thinking. Pops, you old fuck. How can one old guy keep winning a contest over and over and over? Well, did you know there's bonus entries available? After you send in your initial qualifying entry email with the correct had them answer to have a drink at VegasVideoNetwork.com, you can get bonus entries for being in the live chat during the drawing, or by sending in a video for the had them contest, or by doing a video intro for the show, or being quick on the draw and being the first person with a qualifying entry email in to have a drink at VegasVideoNetwork.com. And don't worry, if you're quick on the draw but you jump the shark, if you're wrong when you send in your first answer, you can send in a corrective email. It'll still get entered as long as it comes in in time, and we'll just tease you over being wrong the first time. If you win, you're not qualified to win a following week. No back-to-back -back wins. But it is polite to pop in and say thank you very much to Scott Whitney and the cast and crew at the Living in Las Vegas podcast on the Vegas Video Network. All right, thanks, Pops. Now you can win a few things. Are you ready? Sure. Tell everybody what they can possibly win. It's cold outside. That doesn't mean it's not still sunny. It's Las Vegas. Mm. So while you're digging out the gloves, you're digging out the jacket, and uh, maybe a little something to keep you warm, maybe you're pouring yourself a glass of hot cocoa in the morning. <laughs> before <laughs> I don't you get it. Before you head outside, grab yourself your Vegas Video Network visor. It's adjustable. It's unisex, men and women. Heck, even the uh, we're very LGBTQ friendly sure, yeah. here at the Vegas Video Network. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter what your tastes are. You'll be looking great in this Vegas Video Network visor. Very nicely done. Uh oh, it's the season. Oh, it is the season. Tis the season for one of three masterfully created, Nicely artfully done. recorded uh, recordings. I don't even know where to go from that. I mean, listen, I've, I've basically said it all. It doesn't matter if you're in the Christmas spirit, if you're a Grinch. As soon as you pop in some of the dulcet tones of Chris Acoustic, Chris Acoustic 2, or a jazz a thon heck, you might maybe jazz is your thing this time of year. Sure or not. Yeah, you will be whisked away into the holiday spirit as if you would just suck down some of Scott Whitney's famous hot buttered rum. Right. Oh, look at you. Mm. Nice callback. Or. Speaking of hot buttered rum, uh, of which I have not had any, uh, I look forward to that. I have not made this, this, at, this year's batch yet. At some point. Uh, there's the chance of a lifetime. A lot of people, you know, to get the Make-A-Wish Foundation to come to your house, you usually have to be dying. Well, in this case, <laughs> if you just submit the correct answer for our little contest here, your wish of meeting Scott Whitney and Scott Whitney buying you, yes, you, a drink will come true and guess what you'll probably live through the experience uh 99 of participants have so far sounds great thank you very much all right orchestra please thank you all right let's see what we got going on here okay let's look at last year's last oh wait i forgot one thing almost <laughs> almost forgot you know, there's a couple of things that happen when you uh, when you win. First of all, you're pretty happy for yourself, and and you think to yourself, "Well, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy, and I feel fulfilled." But you say, "I, I want to win a visor." Well, I know why you want to win a visor because you get that visor, you put it on your head, you take a picture, you send that picture to us, and by all kinds of magic and stuff, you become a part of the galaxy of gods. There's Bill and Mr. Testy and Steve and Michael and Robert and Rosie and. 
and there is Mike again and Scott and Alan. Alan is the man, and so is his wife Erin, who are both new. And Bob, Bob's wife, and Danny, and Shan, not Jen, and Craig, and Glenn, and Jimmy, too. Jesus. And wait, there's more. We're in Hawaii with Ken, and Stuart, and Christina, and John, and then there's Jackie, and Mike, oh! and Pops, and Sammy, and Carol. But wait, there's more. There is a dog. And there's Chris, Brett's dad, your buddy Scott, and Wayne. And let's not forget, hey, it's your buddy Scott again. Oh, then of course there's a buddy Brett. All right, guys, here we go. Let's take a look at last week's Have a Drink on Me. Boop, 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 boop. There it is. And the clues were House of Blues, House of Blues, House of Blues. At the Mandalay Bay, we got 17 out of 17 correct answers. Are we ready? Always. Let's begin. La, 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 la. Okay, number one. Uh, Johnny Bravo, who's also uh, Greg Tapscott. One for the correct answer. One for the first correct answer, Johnny Bravo. And one for being in the live chat. That's a triple win. A triple win. Next Continue. up, we've. Hmm? Continue. Next up, we've got Eric, who goes by Ace of Bases. Who said a video is coming? Mm -hmm. Next, we've got Dan Jaggers, Jags, uh, 53. One for the correct answer, one for being in the live chat. We've got Mr. Testy, one for the correct answer, one for being in the live chat. We've got Monica Fagan, one for the correct answer. We've got Jimmy 2Gs, Jimmy Gallagher, one for the correct answer, one for being in the live chat. Boy, I'm telling you, live chatters figuring it out. John Herman. John Herman had said that we'd skipped him last week, but he actually was two weeks behind, so he didn't get another entry. Bill, 98036, one for the correct answer. We've got uh, Woody Accord, also known as Lost12, one, one for the correct answer, one for being in the live chat. We've got Mike Beatty, one for the correct answer, and one more because we forgot to put him in last week. Oh, Mike Beatty. That was... Uh, Scott's fault, Mike. Sorry, man. My fault. Next up, we've got uh, Bob Thomas. One for the correct answer. We've got John Wheeler or Weiler. W-E-I. Weiler? Uh, Weiler. Weiler. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. We've got Dan O, who also goes by OU812, which is the name of a Van Halen album. Next up, we've got Paul Condor954, who's in the live chat. Condor954. One for the correct answer. One for being in the live chat. We've got Andy in New Hampshire, one for the correct answer. And we've got Mike Q, always one for the correct answer, one for being in the live chat. And finally, we've got Pops. Pops gets one for the correct answer. Pops gets one for being in the live chat. And Pops gets one more, a third for this video entry. Man, I am never gonna get this all untangled. Half this set keeps turning on and off every time I touch it. Oh, hey, kids, the usual uh, this time of year. You know, I'm a six time hat on winter because I keep doing these goofy videos. And that, which is being in a live chat, gives me three entries every week. Proof positive that multiple entries work for you. I won six times. So I guess if Scott continues to have a contest, I'll continue to win. I'm not real greedy. I've got all the prizes. So I'll make a deal with you. I need some other people to send in some videos. So the next time I win, if you have three entries and one of them's a video entry, either because you did the video intro for that show or you sent in a Haddam video that was played on that show, I'll give you my prize. How about that? Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you, Pops. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this thing. Quite a few double entries and a couple triples. Being in the live chat mm -hmm. has its advantages. Are you ready? I think I can handle it. Let's go. All right. This is really when we need like the uh, you know the music. What kind of music would you like? That's how about right. uh, how about it's this too one? Too late now. I've already drawn the winner. Oh, that's not good. All right. Yeah. What do you got? Just instead of that, you know, where we just that awkward transitional music. I like that awkward transitional music. I really do like that music. I don't know why you don't like it. Yeah, there's just a Let's get ready to something. go. Let's go. Here we go. I really like that music. Hmm. 
Go. Yeah. Who won? Uh, I think this is a zip code. Is it oh, this? it's Bill, 98036, a previous winner of Adam. He wins again, does Bill. Does he live in 98036? I'm guessing he does, uh, which means that he's won before. He'll win again because, well, that's the way it Where is. Where is 98036? I have no idea. But it's uh, tell you what. actually Linwood, Washington. Oh, Washington. Yeah. I like Washington. All right, Bill, we'll get back to you on that. Okay, let's look at this week's Have a Drink on Me. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Here are our clues. Do you recognize it? <clears throat> I don't. Good. Clue number one. It could be called the doing chores with Tide room. Oh, okay. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> it could be called the doing chores with Tide room. Mm -hmm. Hint number two. It is a secret bar. Mm -hmm. Hint number two. It's a secret bar. Hint number three. But even though it is a secret bar, I'll give you the code to get in. If you'd like. Yes, it's a secret bar, but if you like the code to get in, I will give it to you. That's not really a clue. I'm just yeah, trying to be not. nice. No, it's, it's not. Actually, yeah. there's really only two clues. Oh, but the third okay. one was saying, hey, I'm trying to be helpful to you. Yeah. If you know the name of it, you're going to send that your clues to have a drink at VegasVideoNetwork.com. Again, have a drink at VegasVideoNetwork.com. That's it. We, we've dealt with a bunch of uh, <laughs> technical challenges today. I think our, I think actually, so I've been looking at this. We've tried live streaming to our regular page and to our Facebook page. I think it's a Cox issue, actually, because it's happening on both sides now, um, as opposed to just a uh, live stream. So maybe it wasn't a live stream. You can always call up CenturyLink and get some dial-up speeds. Yeah, I'm getting all kinds of people in the live chat saying CenturyLink is 25 megs for only $45. Yeah, but CenturyLink is horrible. Oh, so, uh, God awful. So I can't really, this is kind of weird. But uh, sorry for the live chatters who, uh, who. but God, they, nobody left. They all hung out there because they basically are good people. Anyways, uh, that's it for this today's show. Hey, if you want to check us out, uh, you can go to the, all the regular places. We're on live stream and, well, and sometimes, sometimes right? And uh, you can check out our voicemail. Leave us a voicemail on, by going to our homepage and doing that. And we're on iTunes and YouTube and Roku and Stitcher and TuneIn and Chromecast and Apple, Google, Fire TV, Google Play. And, of course, the Vegas Video Network. That's it, everybody. We'll see you guys next week on Living in Las Vegas podcast. Take care, everybody.